When you think of one organism that encapsulates Maryland heritage, you may think of the Maryland blue crab. But you may be surprised to learn that there is another animal with incredible cultural and biological importance to the Chesapeake Bay region. The Eastern Oyster Oysters have been a dietary staple in Maryland and other parts of the Bay region for quite some time. Oysters have been shucked and eaten throughout the Bay for thousands of years, starting with indigenous tradition through colonial harvesting into the booming Baltimore canning industry in the 1820s, and they continue to be a culinary delicacy today. These incredible invertebrates have played a foundational role in Maryland's history, culture, and economic landscape along the Chesapeake Bay. Perhaps more importantly, they are an essential part of Chesapeake Bay's ecosystem. Oysters are a keystone species in the Chesapeake Bay. That's a fancy way of saying they're a species that play a key role in maintaining a healthy ecosystem. One reason they are so essential is because oysters work as ecosystem engineers through the creation of reef habitats that are used by other species, which in turn helps increase biodiversity. Another reason is that oysters are filter feeders. This means that they pump water across their gills, removing and eating microscopic plants called phytoplankton suspended in water. Oysters can also remove sediment from the water through this method of feeding, which helps clean the water and increase water clarity, a big issue that Chesapeake Bay is battling right now. Part of the reason for the bay's water quality issues is because of the decreasing population of eastern oysters in the bay. Oyster reefs were once so abundant in the bay that they laid as thick as stones in the days of Captain John Smith in the 17th century. However, the effects of over 200 years of overharvesting have caused major losses in the oyster populations, and because of this, the health of the Chesapeake Bay has suffered. Without our native oyster reefs, the bay loses an important filter feeder that helps clean the water, and critters under the surface lose important sources of shelter and food. So, what can you do in your own backyard to help keep our local oyster reefs happy and healthy? Drop off your shells. Oyster shells are an important component of oyster restoration efforts. Save your oyster shells after enjoying a meal and drop them off at a local shell recycling location near you. Participate in oyster gardening. If you live closer to the Chesapeake Bay or a coastal body of water, you may be able to help raise oysters for reef restoration. Participating gardeners help grow oysters to maturity after being given young oysters, or spat, to grow in cages beneath the water. Once they are fully grown, they are returned to organizations to be placed back in the Chesapeake Bay on reefs where they can provide their important ecosystem services. Volunteer. Many organizations, like the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, are always in need of volunteers to help in their efforts to restore oysters across the Chesapeake Bay. Spread the word. Oyster restoration may not seem relevant in many inland locations, but oysters are a critical component of a healthy bay ecosystem. So spread the word. Tell your friends about the importance of oysters to the entire Chesapeake Bay.